And now, debate of the dead. Our moderator for this evening, Miss Joan Cameron Sleazy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have two very special deceased celebrity guests. Our first guest is everyone's favorite Backstreet Girl, the formerly lovely and talented Miss Susan Hayward. Taking the opposing view tonight is a man who needs no introduction, a man who makes Ronald Reagan look like a sissy. Welcome, please. Big John Duke Wayne. Our guests tonight have two things in common. One you've probably guessed. That's right, they both died of cancer. But Susan and John also made a movie together. It was called The Conqueror, and it was shot in 1954 in St. George, Utah, next to a nuclear test site. Be glad you weren't on that movie set. There's such a thing as too much atmosphere. Tonight, our two non-living legends are going to consider the burning question, cancer. Coincidence or karma? Oh, what the hell is karma? I don't know. And I don't care. So a few people who worked on the same movie dropped dead of the nation's number two killer 20 years later. I uh, can't blame that on the US military. I call it coincidence, pure and simple. And anything else is just buffalo chips. John. 220 people were in the cast and crew of that movie, which was a goddamn turkey to begin with. 91 of them got cancer. 40 of them died. And 118 glow in the dark. Ah, ha, ah, ha, ah, ha, ah, ha. Now, you bleeding hard liberals are always trying to blame everything on the US government. Well, hell, I. Don't blame the government for my death. I smoked enough of these cancer sticks to choke a whore. <coughs> a whore. <coughs> Spit it out, John. <coughs> Horse. Now, the government told us those levels of radiation we were exposed to were safe. And that's good enough for me. John, you lungless airhead, tell that to our co-stars who passed on. Tell that to Dick Powell, died of cancer in 1963. Tell that to poor Agnes Moorhead. Oh, road apples, Susan. Agnes was an old bat when she went. Well, I was only 57, and I wanted to live. <laughs> Well, the way you soaked up the sauce, little lady, it's a wonder the cancer got you before the cirrhosis did. As a matter of fact, pilgrim, you probably came up with this whole crazy radiation theory when you had the DTs. Drinking doesn't give you brain cancer, John, but fallout does. The fact is, in St. George, the incidence of leukemia in children rose two and a half times after the atomic tests. Well, that doesn't prove squat in my book. Those kids probably OD'd on marijuana. Eighty-seven atomic bombs were detonated on that desert. All I know is that the U.S. government exposed me to atomic radiation, and I died from it. The least I deserve is a posthumous Oscar. <laughs> well, tell it to the Marines, Susan. Even if what you say is true, you should feel proud to have been given the opportunity to give your life for your country. Not many women get that glorious privilege. And some of us got our Oscar while we were still alive. Just barely, John. Go eat your lipstick, Susan. Stick that Oscar where the sun don't shine, you soggy 
saddle sore. Susan, you horse's ass. Shoot. I didn't take Joe, that from my get friend. Out there. And I'm Bring not the, gonna take it from music. you. Oh, right this cowboy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Join us next week on the late Mama Cass Elliot, the late Elvis Presley, and the late Scarsdale diet doctor Herman Tarnauer. We'll discuss death as the ultimate diet. <laughs>